in the case this time, I don't think so. Elevate is a very solid team. Uh, this is going to be really up to Slap to try and come out with uh, with something to take the win. They need to come out with some better frags, better uh, better pushes, better uh, setups, whatever it may be. I think the Elevate is going to be going in here with a slight advantage. But they definitely can't can't slap out at all. Oliveira will be able to take down that first blood there inside mid. We do see JP waiting in for a potential push. We do have Wintaw running that engineer kit. And uh, uh, kind of interesting to see the engineer kit playing in mid instead of over onto water side. But uh, we do see tech back up as well. Just making sure nobody goes on to street side. Ooh, nice nade. We'll be able to take him out. That could open it up right now. Ultimatum. Seeing that, yeah, that kill did go through. He's going to go ahead and push on up. And he did take no damage. He's waiting in for the possible push. And this is a terrible position right now for Elevate to have to play out of. Nice place. Ultimatum will be able to take down Supreme. He's looking for that possible two-piece. But Killa getting taken down, trying to help him out. Has to back on up. And he does finally get taken out. Killa will be uh, back up, though, and alive. See if we can get this revive. We do see more pushes coming in from Elevate from main. Not going to be the case that push completely shut down and I'm not too sure as to why we have Keyboy all the way in the back I, I really do not like this positioning here at all I think that, that they gave up a really good opportunity to get some really good map control there two players do end up going down uh, we do see Maito now spreading out waiting in for those possible pushes coming in from main Baki will now start to get slow but sure push all the way up towards mid gets that initial shot there and Keyboy takes him out no problem and Baki is four and one guys I'm telling you, just just watch out for Baki here. He's he's playing insane in his last couple of cups that I've cast in, and uh, I don't I don't see him slowing down anytime soon. He's been rocking, uh, rocking the Ace 23, uh, and he, he's just he's just not slowing down whatsoever. So he will be able to take down Keyboy once again, and uh, we'll see if he's going to be able to do any more damage here. We do have Tech now pushing on in as well, uh, try and get control of that Bravo building, or I'm sorry, the Charlie buildings. But uh, we do have now a potential push coming in as well from Wintop. And no, he misses out every single one of those shots. Not even the G18. Supreme, though, cleans it up. He's like, that's all right, buddy. I'll go ahead and have your back. As well as Wintop going ahead and getting that kit switch. So Tech will be pushed up fairly aggressively here. We have that was a full squad wipe onto Slap. And uh, that should be a very first bomb site here for Elevate. A really quick bomb, actually, for Elevate in response. And as I said before, it is not surprising to see teams getting onto that B site and, and securing that particular bomb, but slap here. They cannot allow another bomb to go down. Even if they get just one site of their own, they really cannot afford a 2-0 going into the harder side of the map. I think that if, if it does go down to a 2-0, Elevate is pretty much guaranteed this first map win. And it's not looking good here, especially since this was Slap's pick. But uh, we do have Tech taking down JP from afar. And if you notice right now, Elevate, they're not really, uh, or they're, they're able to stall out this push here from Slap to try and get any kind of map position. Now, Keyboy, I don't know how he managed to make his way all the way up onto this side of the map, but he does end up getting taken down. Elevate should be able to mitigate any kind of uh, damage, potential damage that he could have caused either by getting his teams out of position or just simply getting a couple of frags as they are set up really nicely here on top of Statue. We do have Maito. Oh, look at that. He's an, is he using, is that a Magnum? That's not a Magnum, is it? Yeah, it is a Magnum. Let's say you don't hardly ever see Magnums without sights, so he's going to try and get a nice little fancy shot off there, but can't not do it. Two players doing him going down onto street side. This is exactly what Slap wants to have happen. JP coming in will be able to get the kill there. Uh, as a well so yeah we do have that bomb carrier now making his way over to towards that bravo side all players are up for elevate at the moment they are going to have to come in from main there's an initial push there onto that b site will fail and that's b site is really a it's a high risk high reward type site to go on to if you're able to get control of that b site then you're going to be up hugely in terms of an advantage for getting onto that c site now, if you don't ever make it to that position, you're going to be really lacking in terms of uh, positioning for his players to try and hold on to the bomb site, which is what we saw initially. So Supreme now making his way up through escalators here. Nice turnaround there onto Ultimatum. He just pretty much cleaning up. Finally doesn't have going down. Tech will be last up and alive. 
for Elevate here, getting in those crucial spawns. We'll be able to lock down at least one more frag before he has to back on up. But really, Elevate, they have plenty of time here to try and come back. And he's even going to get a kill through the incendiary. Couldn't even see him. Just like, you know what? There's probably going to be a guy there. We'll be able to get the blind shots going down. Beautiful job so far coming out from Tech. And he's going to be able to lock down another one on top of Statue. So, you know, I said, hey, maybe this guy isn't up to snuff here. Uh, as he hasn't been really a consistent player in his last couple of cuts. But you know what? Tech proving me wrong. He's definitely looking good here in this particular match. We'll see. They're going to be able to get another plan off of this. Uh, probably going to be seeing him going for, well, actually, we could be going to see him for C. If they get control of ledge here, Seaside is definitely one that they can abuse. It's a little bit harder initially, but it can be done. Supreme will be able to pick up at least one of those frags coming out of main spawn. Not going to be able to do much of anything at, el at all would be Maito trading out with Keyboy. So, yeah, Elevate, for the most part, stalling out in their push. Really don't have a whole lot of power to get that bomb anywhere towards one of those bomb sites. But then again, as I said many, many times, they are on the harder side, so they have done the damage that they needed to do. They have already gotten their bomb in their back pocket. They don't really have to do much of anything else. Just waste the time down and uh, have fun on this next round. But uh, we do see Tech. Lock it down one more kill before he makes his way over here towards those B ledge. And they are going to be chasing down this one player from Keyboy Ultimatum. Really out of position here. And he, as soon as he shoots, he is going to be basically giving away his position. He does go down almost immediately after that shot. And Baki looking around for this last player. They want to be able to secure everybody that's behind him before they do push on up. And uh, Baki here just playing very, very slowly. Might actually be to a detriment. Oliver had enough time now to push on in. We do see him trying to wait for the bomb carrier to pop on up before he can take him out. Four players will be now up for Elevate. Oh my god, Baki! Like, how do you make that shot right there? You're already low on health. You're at a disadvantage. Oh, just, just really good plays coming out of this guy right now. But uh, he is going to be able to get the immediate respawn. Now Elevate with a two-man wipe there, pushing back in onto the C site. And Baki will be able to get the plant going down. Yes, he does get the plant coming in. Will get taken down almost immediately after that. Maito now looking for these possible pushes coming in from behind. Takes down two. Yes, he does. That's going to be completely wiping up their backfield here. Elevate has an opportunity to take this out of 2-0 on the hard side. And they are not stopping whatsoever. Wintel now going to be flushing out the last player. It's JP getting picked up. Pretty much no chance at all. You can just take a look at the KDs right there. I mean, it is really, I mean, that's the tail right there. Just the kills are way, way in favor of Elevate as opposed to Slap. And uh, Wintel just waiting in for anybody to come on in. We do see Baki uh, set up on top of B Ridge. Takes a bit of damage. He isn't using that engineer kit, which is not going to allow him much of anything at all. But that right there, guys, is going to be 2-0, ending out the, the uh, first round in favor of Elevate. And you could not ask for a better first round whatsoever. Supreme going 13 and 8, 12 and 6 there for Baki Tech, 11 and 9, 11 and 8 there for Maito. Wintel, 6 and 5, bringing up the rear there. But uh, on the flip side of that, Ultimatum going 11 and 8, 10 and 8 there from Oliveira, Keyboy going 7 and 11, and then JP 6 and 9, 3 10 there for Killa. Your kits. Um, usually we only see an engineer kit on the Shining side if we see one at all anymore. Uh, most teams don't really play too passive there onto water side. They really focus in more on uh, on mid and street side. But could be a slight little change. You know, we have seen a four man push on street side. From TSC. Oh my god, that's how you get I'm gonna remember that for a while. So good. So here we have it. Elevate now pushing up towards mid. Mites is gonna lead that charge. Gets that first blood there onto Keyboy. Makes it look extremely easy. I wish I could shoot that well. But uh, he's gonna try and find a couple of these players. We'll be able to get the spot outs. A lot of information that he's gonna be able to tell his team as he spotted out two of the players inside mid. We'll be able to take down Ultimatum now. They really need to get Mito out of this position. And he will finally go down, but not before he does take down JP. Tech also going to be able to pick up one, trying to go in for the bomb. It's going to be Oliver really not doing much damage at all. 
Maybe stalling out that bomb carrier just a little bit, but Elevate, they still have some decent map control. We do see a spawn coming back at main. I think they were a little bit afraid there of, uh, of that push from Oliver, but not going to be the case. JP now pushing up inside mid. We'll see if he can get the headshot with that Magnum. Show me something. Show me something. Ooh, does get caught out of position. And uh, we'll end up getting the kill there on Tabaki, so not too bad. Not too bad at all. And so we will be seeing a lot of smokes going to be thrown out. But still, just playing very, very passive. And, you know, Elevate, they don't have to get too crazy here. Uh, they have that 2 advantage. They have the better side. If they can just play defensively here, hold back, slap, there's really not much that they have to do in this situation. You know, we have JP trying to get some long-range shots with the Magnum. It's not going to happen. Keyboy finally pushes on up. Uh, we'll be able to pick up at least one of these players with that G18. Takes down Baki, so we have a bit of a two-man wipe going down. Possibly a third, but Keyboy's getting shot from so many different sides, he doesn't know what to do. And now it's all down to Ultimatum, who spawned all the way back in main. Yeah, that could not have been a worse engagement whatsoever. So, yeah, slap, try as they might. They just have not been able really to get any kind of presence at all on the Siege of Shanghai. And we will be seeing that bomb plant going down. Four players will be pushed up onto street side tech, trying to slow them down. Not going to be able to do so. Supreme will be back up as well uh, over here next to Escalators. Now, do they have any engineer kits? Uh, no. We don't see any engineer kits. Okay, so what we normally do see if Elevate can get a uh, get another engine kit up and running is to try and push in onto the C site. Not going to be the case just yet. Slap trying to get as many players left up and alive there onto the C site. Not going to be the case. And uh, yeah, even with Oliver, if he did win on that kill, probably wasn't going to be able to do much of anything at all. Though Keyboy, uh, he was going to be coming up from the backfield. So. That is going to be it there. 3-0 as we have Elevate locking it down, heading into map number two here in the near future. I promise you tonight, at some point, we are going to be casting them. I can almost guarantee it. So here we go, starting out with our second map in this best of three series for Uran, or not Uran, wow, Elevate versus Slap. I told you my brain scrambled here, guys, so you're just going to have to, have to deal with it. But uh, we will be seeing Slap with a fairly standard breakout so far with the two Three split elevate standard as well, and uh, we'll be seeing Supreme. Wow, very aggressively able to push all the way over into staircases. This is definitely not like what we normally see, especially for the Chinese side, because the Chinese side has a slight disadvantage. They are not going to be able to get to the bomb first or get into the mid map first as well. So, Supreme getting the stair control. This could actually be huge. He's going to be hearing the uh, right now parachutes, so he knows there's something going on up above. Intel right now waiting down inside lower tunnels. Supreme could actually go in for a little bit of a back rage here. Actually, I think that's upper tunnels. Let's see. Yeah, it is upper. JP with the bomb in hand. He's not really going to be able to do much of it at all. And as I said before, this is definitely going to be leaning to whoever makes the most mistakes right from the start. We do see Maito here going down. Keyboy will be able to pick up Supreme. So that's two down right now for Elevate. Where is the call to go or not? JP, he's really, really trying to figure out whether he wants to go or not. Wintaw will be down below here, waiting. And he is not going to be able to get the kill. There's the call. You can see it now. That's going to be three frags that they've gotten in a row. Maitaw will be set up, waiting for any kind of push coming down from lower. And it doesn't look like they have been, managed to back off. But uh, waiting like that, that's definitely not going to be good. Maitaw doesn't even get picked up. Three players now flooding in from slap. Baki trying to make his way back in, but he gets shot from behind. Able to get the kill there on Tequila. Turns around. Almost made a sexy hit fire Magnum shot, but not going to be the case. Wintel will be the last player left up and alive, and he is definitely not in a position here to do anything at all. But he managed to get at least one of the frags. The bomb will end up going down on top of Alpha. So Slap making their, making their play here. As I said, guys, if there was a map that Slap is going to be able to do some damage on, it will be this one. Have managed to see Baki picking up another kill over there. Maito taking down Oliveria. Really nothing that JP could do in that situation. He's going to get pushed from two players either way. Four man wipe there, and we will be seeing the defuse going down. So Slap needs to make it over here and onto that A site here fairly quickly, making sure that Elevate's not going to be able to take too much map control here in this situation. But uh, 
very good push, I would have to say, from uh, Slap. I think that it could have been a little bit faster, to be honest with you. Uh, I think JP may have waited just a little bit too long. But uh, either way, they were able to get a fairly decent chunk out of Elevate and uh, waste quite a bit of time, about three minutes or so. So we do have now Tech starting to push on in top tunnels. Oh, oh, I was about to say, if he got that kill, that would have been so dirty. As he does get the hit fire, jump around the corner, kill. Does eventually go down. Slap will be able to take control back from the middle of the map, getting that full wipe. Elevate playing a little bit uh, curiously there. I figured they would have slowed it down just a little bit, making sure that they do get that mid-map control. Because it is very important to have that mid-map control, being able to launch basically every single one of your attacks from a much, much better position. If the bomb does end up going down, you do have a fairly decent position to respawn in from. But it does look like the bomb has gone down for Slap. We do see Oliver back up. Killa taking down two, two players, now making it a third as well as one of his teammates. So now it's down to three players left up for Elevate. Killa still going to be on the prowl here. Hunting around for these last couple of players. Will really be able to find one? He does take down Tech. Killa is right now just showing up on this map. Finally does get picked up. And look at the mass response coming in from Elevate as they have been able to just completely swarm this bomb site. Will be able to get onto the defuse as well. So uh, really good retake from Elevate, but I think more or less it was just a really bad defense onto the bomb site from Slap overall. Elevate was very sloppy there. A couple of times pushing in with only one or two players and uh, ended up getting picked up. So we'll see if they're going to be able to make anything happen here. I really do think that Elevate should play a little bit slower. We do see two players now pushed up fairly aggressively on top of A. And that will be Maito with a two piece of Supreme following up with a third. Ultimatum will be the last player left up here for Slap. Let's see if they're going to try and push on in from outside the map, or if they're going to be trying onto that B-side. B-side definitely the tougher of the two decisions, as it does lend some fairly nice cross, cross shots here from Elevate. So far, it looks like uh, J JP and Keyboy both able to get frags of their own, but Keyboy actually getting a team kill. That's not too good. Supreme able to take down one. Takes down a second one as well. And that's going to be cleaning out every single one of the slap players. Full squad wipe going down. And we could actually be seeing a spawn trap coming in. Uh, right now, in fact, yeah, we do see Wintall set up. Waiting for him to come from outside of the map. There's a push from slap going a little bit uh, cheeky there. But uh, will eventually get picked up. And that will be Baki also picking up another frag of his own. Yeah, this is such a terrible position for them to be in. Supreme will be able to spot out three of the players from Slap pushing up into mid. But, I mean, honestly, there's not much that they can do in this situation. They need to throw out more smokes. They need to throw out maybe some uh, incendiaries to try and push them away from these walls. But, no, Supreme is going to have none of that. Taking out a third as well out of spawn. Another squad wipe coming in. And he's just padding his stats right now. 11 and 5. Bomb will be in their hands. We could very well be seeing another 2-0 coming in for this Elevate squad for the first round of this map. And they have had really firm control here in the later stages of this map the entire time. Supreme does finally trade out, but uh, not before his teammates coming in for the save. Oh, no. Tech there on a little bit of a mistake. He does get the revive going down, and oh, Supreme can't get the frag, and we have a drop on Slap as well. You could not get a worse position here for the Slap boys. They could potentially get a defuse going down on top of Bravo. Baki has to back on up. We do see Killa and Ultimatum both getting kills of their own. The defuse will end up going down, but with that person dropping, that's really going to leave them in a very, very t tough situation in order to come back from. With all five players left up and alive, I mean, there's really not much that they can do. Uh, we saw how hard it was for TSC to come back from four on five. I mean, they, they pretty much you know, had to take it into overtime because of that. So uh, Ultimatum now is going to go ahead and pull on back, but not before he gets shot down. Unfortunately, the back rage is a little bit too strong. Killa doing all that he can to stay alive, but again, I mean, there's not much you can do in a 4v5 situation. Uh, slowly but surely, Elevate pushing up onto Slap. We do see JP all the way in the back, but I mean, really, he's providing a slightly better spawn point 
in terms of they won't have to run as far, but I mean, honestly, there's not much that they can do. Maito does it again going, uh, going down. Uh, we do see a spawn coming in onto Baki. Surprised that Baki actually missed that shot, but has to go in for the reload. Tech finishing up from behind. Plant onto B looks fairly solid at the moment. And as I said, this looks like it's going to be a 2 0 coming in here for Elevate. A minute 47 seconds left on the clock, even if we do see a diffuse going down. There's really not a whole lot of time for them to come back and get a counter uh, counterpoint. Baki able to lock down one more kill there. We do see Supreme as well, preventing anybody from Kitchen to come in, and that's going to be ending out the first round. 2-0, Elevate. And they are looking fairly strong here, guys. So a fairly standard breakout from Elevate. See a two men on top, three on bottom. Fairly standard here from Slap as well. Nothing too crazy. I can say Slap could go for a two-man push down below. Oh, actually they are. They are going to go for a two-man push down below. Very aggressively in my head. And this could work out to their favorite. <laughs> I guess you can see the pressure right there getting to Slap as Oliver uh, actually shooting at his own player, giving away his position. They know exactly where he was at, and somehow Elevate didn't pick up on it. Oliver going huge here with a two-piece, able to open this game wide up. Where is his teammates? They need to get in here as quickly as possible. Killa will be pushing up on top of staircases, and he will be able to get down tech. That's four down right now for Elevate, and Slap has been able to break this contain. Oh my god, Oliver there. What could have been just a huge, huge blunder on his part turned out to be a massive play. And now Slap has a plant in the first two minutes of this map. Wow, I have to say that is impressive as hell. No kills have gone down for Elevate so far. Every single one of them dying completely. That was, that was impressive indeed. Oliver now has to back up. He's going to get pushed by two players from Elevate, not able to do much of anything at all. Uh, JP will be set back on top of Beepers. Completely overwhelmed though, as uh, we do see a push now from Ultimatum to try and finish it out. Gets the revive here, and he is able to stay alive just for a little bit, but Supreme too strong there. Able to get a uh, main gun and a Rex kill to finish it out. Diffuse will end up going down. We see all main spawns coming back in. Unfortunately, what a good play happened there from Slap. I mean, honestly, that was a fantastic job. They had no clue that he was there. He literally like stood there and stared at the bomb carrier like, really? You're just, you're just looking the other direction? And uh, was able to get the shots on him. So fantastic job, I had to say, from Slap, but unfortunately just not enough. Uh, once again, we do see that bomb possibly going down on top of that A site. Uh, we do have the bunker actually getting taken out here for Elevate. Baki not able to do much. He does end up getting picked up. Maito now coming in for a slight little flank. We'll pick up at least one of the players from Slap Tech, finishing up Ultimatum. Baki getting a two-piece onto Killer and Oliver. Once again, just really showing up in terms of the frags. He's 3-2 and two currently right now. Uh, one of those kills is a suicide at the very beginning, so technically he's 3-1. and one. And we'll see if uh, he's going to be able to hold onto this bomb site or not. You do see the team just very, very aggressively pushed up. Tech doesn't end up going down. Baki now going to be coming up. Uh, possibly big. He is going to be able to take down one. Nope, doesn't make it out in time. Will end up getting picked up eventually. Now it's going to be up to Supreme here to hold this off. There are three players down below from Slap now possibly pushing in. Supreme, though, getting a little bit of a piece. He knows exactly where they're going to be coming in from. And yeah, we'll be able to take down Oliver. Nice job. As uh, it's down to two players from Slap to try and make this play. We do see a possible defuse going in. Not going to happen, though. Baki takes him out. No problem. And that's going to be GG's. Congratulations there. 3-0 once again going in here for Elevate.